Hello everyone, here's Cassie from Cassie Director and this is our Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create your own texture packs or change a texture pack. It's very easy. First, when you want to change a texture pack, go uh, yeah, get the texture pack um, and you need all to know the folders you want to change. When you have that, open in a photo editing program like Photoshop, GIMP, Paint, Paint.net or what you know all about it. Um, I have it here in Photoshop and this is my texture pack. I can say I create the texture pack because um, it's more create than changed. That is our old texture pack. That is not the uh, texture I use right now. What you need to have when you want to change or create a texture pack, go to your Minecraft folder. On Windows you go on the start menu, go in the run or search section and type in percent app data percent. Then you should get our um, folder, it's called roaming and in roaming you find a folder called Minecraft. You open the Minecraft and find a folder called it bin. So when you are on Mac you go to your username library application service and here you find the folder Minecraft it's another icon for me here and here we have the folder bin. It's the same when you have it in Windows. When you have this, open your Minecraft.jar folder. If you don't have this, go to your um, Minecraft.jar file and then you get a folder. Open this folder and go and sort it out by um, by art or what's called here. So you get all these folders and all these pictures together. What you need to create a texture pack or change a texture pack. So go and create a new folder. Call it whatever you want. Then put in there achievements, armors, art, environment, you can put in font 2, DUI, item, misc, mop, terrain, title, then the picture pack PNG, particle PNG, terrain PNG. Make sure you have this. This is the main thing you need for a texture pack. If you don't have this file, nothing will happened. Uh, you can go and get a uh, font and pack uh, text file too. And you all have this in one folder. It should look like that. Uh, you see here are some more uh, files like custom fire and I have no idea how um, to change this. I got it from Misa texture pack um, because it's animated, it's a custom so it's uh, for HD I think, so HD texture packs. The pack PNG, when you click on there you find a picture it will represent um, and shown in the texture pack um, library on Minecraft, so when you change your texture pack in Minecraft, show this picture. You can edit this to whatever you want. In particle PNG you see here all these particles like water splash and particles fire and some weird stuff. You can edit too, but be careful. Don't mess around with too much on the left, too much on the right. Um, I'm not I not think that will work later. So you can do, uh, you can include any texture file what you run to write in whatever you like. 
So another cool thing before we go into all this uh, advanced stuff is here is the title folder. You can see here it's BG, it's a background. That is the background show on the beginning of loading Minecraft. You can put in your own screenshots of your house. Then we have the MC logo. That's the Minecraft logo. Where, what uh, Minecraft logo on the front page or somewhere else? I'm not sure about it. So look, some other tutorials. Um, yeah. Here we have the Mo Mojang image on the beginning when the screen is loading. You can change it too if you want. I did it. Uh, that's the title. And here we have all these folders, achievements, that fin you find some the interface for the achievements and all stuff like you can put in arts, your own pictures like I did, some TV and art stuff. It's very funny. Yeah, and armors are armors, you know what I mean? Environment, you find all clothes, rain. Um, I don't recommend to change it because it's not really good. The GUI, the GUI you find the Akamai interface, all these interfaces, and here it's very cool. It's uh, the items you can change the colors, but be careful with drag a left and right. It should be on the same position you had before. In items, you have again, we have again some boat pictures, some doors and signs and experience points. In MISC we have some very difficult stuff. Uh, I don't recommend when you don't know what you do uh, to do something, uh, to change something. It's about um, how the world looks like. So like uh, the grass color fade from very dark to very bright, uh, not real, you know what it is. Um, but like here, it's, like here uh, when you have a pumpkin on your head, you can look through. So then we have the mob. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> all these mobs. It's more than maybe you have because it's a customized mob um, yeah they change in the game sometimes then we have terrain that find you the sun the moon and the moon faces um, but what I want to show you the most important is the terrain.png in your folder when you open that in some editing program it's like that here I make some helplines I'm not sure if you can do this in GIMP 2 if not it's okay but be careful where you cut and stuff so choose the selection tool or yeah the marquee tool and go and copy first your picture it's very important that you have a copy and then a clean layer or import a picture you want to replace with sand maybe um, maybe other the green sand or uh, the, the, um, maybe you want to use another texture so download the image maybe cut it before to the same to the right size um, I have a texture pack 64 times 64 Maybe you want to change the color of your pumpkin, so go and zoom in very accurate and go really to this corner so that you only have really the pumpkin. You need to look at every pixel. That's very important, if not then it stands over and goes another texture and it looks all messed up. I had it before in my wheat so I looked around and there was only a small fade line from the top and that's maybe messed all up. So maybe when you have that and you can now see if I, no I don't forgot a line. 
uh, you can go and change the color what you want so maybe make it pink or what ever so I only show this now here I don't will do this well when you have all that I would recommend you to if you create well worked hours and hours and hours on it and searched almost every texture on the web and edit and stuff you write in your name here some address whatever you like you don't need to do this but I would do it so when you have that go to I don't know where you are on it well I am on Photoshop when you're on GIMP save it as PNG I save it for um, web device save it for web and devices and here it's a PNG because all these um, um, squares in the background you see it here and in the middle of the glass and behind the torches that will be transparent yeah save it and drag it back in your texture file okay when you have all changed all your textures and stuff and put it all in your texture folder go and select all and then go right click and um, make a zip file I'm not sure how you do this on Windows but on Mac you go and select all your folders right click and then compress then you should get a zip file and you have a folder go to your Minecraft folder go to texture pack it's a folder too and in here I have my zip files and the folders from the texture pack when you have that go and open Minecraft so in Minecraft go to the option texture packs and here you find the texture pack choose it out and go to done and if you have Optifine you can go in Optifine 2 it's a mod and choose their texture packs in the menu and load it okay that's all for today and I hope to see you next by my next let's play or next tutorial bye